Hello everybody, my name is Alan from CyberLab and today will be another video about VPN. This video specifically we're gonna show how you can install VPN, can be open VPN or wiring guard directly in your VPS. We're gonna be using Oracle Cloud in the free tier option, but you can use any kind of VPS that you want and best fit your money and the location that you need. Also, you're gonna ask me, Alan, why I want to install this kind of VPN compared for the previous video where you show how to install Pi VPN. And the answer is quite simple. Pi VPN is dedicated to specific Pi Raspberry Pi, and this other VPN will basically work for all the VPNs. And this and basically this other option will be more dedicated to run in a VPS. So in this way, we're gonna go step by step and I'm gonna explain why you want to do it. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed, and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to explain why we want to install our VPN, we want to explain what options you have. If you look in the market, you have a lot of different options of VPN, and those VPN promise a lot of things. They promise that we'll have a system which use military encryption. They say that all your data will be protected. Everything that you don't wanna do, no one will be able to see. You can go in a public place and will not have all your data stolen for you. And that it's true and not true. Why I'm saying that's true and not true? Nowadays, we have SSL certification and this SSL certification will work as encryption. So they will encrypt all your data between your device and the final server. And unless they have the encrypted data between these two devices, no one will be able to see your data. And either that they collect it and try to disencrypt it will take a long, long time. So it will be really difficult to guarantee and to have access for it. So when they say that it will protect against of uh, stolen information, it's not really true because all your data will be secure. Only thing that you will have access is which website that you're using, what, unless they have a reason, they will not be able to choose anything. Other thing, they will say that you not collect any data from you. This can be true or cannot be true. They promise that to not keep data, but uh, in some case they keep data. So until there, you don't know how secure is this information. And of course, you need to pay a monthly fee to have access for it. A good thing is that you have a lot of locations different from what we're gonna do in this video because we're gonna use the free tier for Oracle Cloud. If you are aware for this system, you only have one location, what it's around your house or closes for you, and you cannot switch so often for different places and have different VPS for different places. This is one of the limitations that you have compared for a VPN, but of course will be free for you to use and you know that all your data is properly secure and no one will keep any transaction, anything, unless you want to see what information that's running your server. Of course, if uh, Oracle Cloud wants to see what website that you use after finish the tutorial, yes, they can do it, but normally they don't have a reason to do it. Other thing, when they say that uh, a VPN have a military encryption, yes, this is true, they use a military encryption, but SSL certification uses exactly the same certification or same encryption, and that the VPN will make a tunnel between your house or your device until the final server. The same thing that our installation will do will be a tunnel between our house until the Oracle Cloud server. So then, we can come here my screen and we're gonna explain a little bit more why we want to use this Oracle Cloud. First of all, this Oracle Cloud is free and in the free tier you have two options or two VPS using a ADM and that will be the ADM processor or you can use the ARM system what give you four O cores and 24 gigabyte of RAM memory and quite a lot of internet. So in this way, to do this installation we're gonna use this specific image that will be NIR OpenVPN install and here will be the installation. But one thing that's interesting that if you don't want to use this specific VPN, you can come here in, in WireGuard 
and you can open what will do exactly the same installation but for our guard. So you can choose wiring guard installation or you can choose open VPN installation. In our case, we're gonna use open VPN installation, so we're gonna use this option. Other thing that's interesting that if you want to have a different locations, you can look for a VPS. If you look for this website, only as an example, let's open here, they give this web host, and this web host, if you come here, you can have different locations. Of course, a little bit limited, and if you want more and more locations, you can look for different VPS and do the same installation. But one VPS will have one specific location, don't forget about it. So now if I come back here in this installation, this is what we're going to install. But before we start to install, we need to be sure that we do all the procedures correctly. So this installation that we're going to install, another thing that's interesting, you can install it in Ubuntu, Debian, and other system. So to do this installation, first thing that we need to do, we need to open PuTTY, and that we can have access for our server. So let's do it. Once that you open your PuTTY, you're already inside your VPS. Depending on what VPS that you're going to use, will be a little bit different operating system, but this standard configuration will be the same. In my case, I will use the Ubuntu 20.04, and that's the running in an ARM system for Oracle. If I go all the way down, what I need to do first, I need to update my system. So I can do sudo apt get update update and run it. What they're gonna do, they will check if all the list of applications is correctly before we can start to do the installation. Now, next step will be the one that will take a little bit longer. If I clear this page, I will run update upgrade and I will run it. They will ask if I want to install. I say yes, I want to install. And now they will install all the packagings and make sure that all my system is updated. So now let's wait a little bit. Once that my system updated, what I can do, I can clear this page. So now what we need to do, we need to log in as a root. To do it will be sudo su, and the only way that we can guarantee that the installation will work well. So I come here back and I will copy this script, copy here, come, and we're gonna run this script the same way, put enter, and that they will give this page. What they will say, that will say, welcome to OpenVPN Road War installation they will ask if I want to choose IPv4 or any host name. If I want to, to use a specific host name or dynamic DNS, I can use, if I want to use a website, suppose that we use vpn.cyberlab.com, I can tape here and that I need to configure my DNS, but in my case, I will use exactly the same because they will not change. I'm using Oracle Cloud and the IP address will be always the same. So for me, I'll put enter, and they will ask what kind of protocol I should use. In my case, I prefer to use UDP, so I'll put recommended, put UDP number one and put enter. They will ask what IP address that I want to use. If I don't want to change, I can only put enter. If I want to change for another IP address, I can change. I suggest you to change only to guarantee that that IP address is secure, but in my case, I'm not gonna keep this installation, so I'll use the standard one, I'll put enter and they will ask what kind of DNS server that I want to use. In my case, I like to use Cloudflare DNS, so we'll put number three. If you like to choose Google, put two. If you like to choose any other, choose the DNS that you like. I'll put enter, and now we'll add the first user. I'll put CyberLab, the user, and put enter. They will ask if I want to install it. I will put yes, enter, and now they will install. They will take a few minutes until finish, not take so long, so let's wait a little bit until they finish to do the installation. After a couple of minutes, they will give this information that this client configuration is in cyberlab.ovpn and that I can run exactly the same script to use or to install another user. So what I can do, I can clear this page, run exactly the same script, and now they will ask me if I want to create a new user, I want to revoke an existing user, I want to remove OpenVPN or I want to exit for the system. In my case, I want to add a new one, I will put number one, and they will ask what user that you want. I will put as Alan, enter, and then they create my certification. Now, how can I have access for it? I can only do CD, now I'm in the root folder, I'll put LSA, and now I know all the folders that inside this. So in my case, I want to access this Alan. So I will put nano, 
space and use all Allen dot open VPN and open here. So now I can copy all this information and that's use this information to configure my open VPN. So the best way I will open a notepad and I will copy this information. So I can reduce the size of the letters, change settings, come here appearance. I can make it as small as possible only for have more information on my screen. Put apply. I can copy here until certification, go back, paste, and now I can put Ctrl X and I can copy this name that's open VPN Allen. Now I can come here back, come save as, and here I will save open VPN Allen and put save. What I can do now, I can import this configuration on the open my open VPN, come here in upload file, and I can browse, and I use the one that I just download, and I can connect it. But before I put connect, I need to open my page for Oracle Cloud, go for my firewall, and allow that the port 1194 have access is term. Principally for the UDP connection, so in this way, I need to open my VPS, my Oracle Cloud, and do this configuration. So let's do it now. And here I will have all my configuration. In my case, I already have this one configured, that is port 1194. So in my case, I have this one configured. What I put CDR, all the source, because I don't want to define one specific VPS to have access. I put all the ports for internally source, and that's only the port 1194 to have external access. And of course, I need to put protocol UDP. If I use a uh, TCP, I need to change this protocol for TCP and I can put save. If I'm using a wiring guard, I need to only put the port 5180 or the port that you configure. So in this way, once that you have this configuration done, then you can come here and put connect. It means that they will connect and once that you see bytes in and out, it means that the data is going in and out. Now we can check my IP address to confirm that this IP address will be exactly the same as the one that I'm using. And here I will open this website, my IP address, and here the red give exactly the same IP address for my configuration. So basically, if I stop this connection, they will show my IP address. So all the traffic will go from my device until the Oracle Cloud Server. And from Oracle Cloud Server, they will have access externally. Have some compromise? Yes, have some compromise because my speed will be a little bit limited. So if I come here and open my speed test and put go, my speed will be around 90 megabytes, 100 and something megabytes. What is not the fastest way that you can have considered that my normal internet is around 900 megabytes. So I drop a lot, but it's still quite fast for most of applications. And if you look for the latency, it's quite small. So if you want to go for a really long distance, maybe this latency will be higher. But in my case, I live quite close for long. This reason that latency was really, really small. This way, we arrive at the end of the video. I hope that guys, you like this video. If you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed. And see you next time. Bye.